All right, back here at Peter Mountain Wilderness. Headed at the Blue Blaze to the AT. All right, I've got a, about a two and a half mile climb. I don't think it's a super steep climb, hopefully not. And then it's basically ridge walking most of the way. It's still really dark. The sun comes up today. Well, good morning. <sighs> well, I'm back at it. Another day of hiking. Of course, today I'm slacking. Slacking. I'm totally fine with that. I've stayed out in the woods long enough. <sighs> it makes it so much easier to hike, less weight. <clears throat> well, I sat down last night and I did my whole plan for the remainder of my hike. So, if all else goes, if all goes as planned, um, I will be, I have nine days left of this through hike. Now, that's um, not taking any zeros. And which I'm going to try not to, as far as I don't need one at this point, I don't need one mentally, uh, especially if I'm slack packing. Um, but physically, you know, with how my leg has been doing, that's the only thing that, you know, it just worries me a little just because, um, like I said, I don't, don't want to be doing anything detrimental to my to my body <clears throat> but I put some KT tape on my ankle and the back of my knees today <clears throat> seems like it's helping anyway um, and honestly I, I really do believe that this is just a reuse and that once I'm off the trail and I'm at home and not hiking every day I think I'll be fine and that is just something through hike is hard on the body. I mean, you're just not, we're just not meant <laughs> to hike, you know, 12, 10, 12 hours a day, every day. <clears throat> but anyway, um, but the plan is, so today I thought about doing 20, but if I do 20 today, then tomorrow would have to be like 11 and a half mile day, which I guess I could do it that way. But up here it's probably best to stay on the safe side and not just just try not to push my body so I'll probably do like 15 and a half today <clears throat> and then another 15 and a half tomorrow that's what I'm thinking I don't know we'll see if I feel really good and not having any kind of issues I'll just push to the 20 um, <clears throat> but with my laid up plan my biggest mileage day will be 17 and a half miles but I'm pretty much going to be averaging about 15 miles every day. I mean, for the most part, 15 and a half. Well, 15 and a half, maybe 16. I don't know. But anyway, all right. Well, I'm going to try not to spend too much time talking and get to hiking here. But I got this lovely tree I got to go over. So, all right. There's Pine Swamp Branch Shelter. It's pretty close to the road. not quite as warm as yesterday. Um, the wind's kind of blowing. Um, the sun's not really out today. Right now I do have just short sleeves on. I had my jacket on. I took it off because I was getting pretty warm. Um, climbing, like sweating quite a bit. But um, that wind blowing, it's a little cold. And now I'm not climbing at this minute. 
Yeah, I'm ahead for the blue jacket back. along this ridge. because it's like I want to I want to keep this like really good pace and I just can't because every time I try to do that the rock reaches out and bites me Here's where the blue skies are. Nice. This meadow. Look at that view. Wow. There's a fire ring. Oh, some pretty good stealth spots here. Pretty good one over there. You could probably go over here. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of view too, man. decided that this tree and this view is a perfect lunch spot. I'm a little over halfway. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and stop. Have lunch here. I think this is a good spot. Get a nice blue skies right here. Get the sun coming down. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, this is nice. This is so nice. It's like I'm even a little blocked on the wind, which is good. Well, I have a pretty good lunch. This is what happens when you um, slide pack. You can bring like better food, I feel like. So I've got 
a palmetto cheese sandwich on whole grain bread. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Uh, I brought a couple bags of chips because it's two different kinds, chili cheese, and so there's not a whole lot in it. I don't know if I can eat both chips, but whatever. I brought them. And then I've got, what else I got here? I've got, let's see. I've got some pickles. I've got an apple. Oh yeah. And then I caught, I brought some junk food. I don't know if I could even eat, eat all this, but I got little Debbie cakes. I was really craving that. And then I was also craving these things, these little cherry pies. I got that too. And then I got a bunch of other bars and stuff, like just in case, but I, I, I won't be eating all that. But don't know how much of this food I'll actually eat, but it's gonna be good. And I almost forgot to show you, I also brought a Diet Coke. <laughs> oh yeah. I never do that, you know. Well, every once in a while I've done it on the trail, but yeah, man, it's gonna be an awesome lunch today. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, yeah. like off the side of the mountain somewhere but there's no houses like it's all like I live down the must be I don't know I swear I almost lost two dogs I swear as soon as I said hi and they started they took, they took off and no it wasn't coyotes and it wasn't boxes Light brown, so they blend in with the. I can't even see them. There they go. I knew there was dogs. <laughs> I knew. It. There's another view from the other side. left today.
missed. So at least when it's a nice day. Nice view over there. Good job. I think that's a uh, Parisburg down there. It's hard to tell from here. Here's a view. Looking back. Oh look, there's this this is rice um rice field shelter. What happens? It's gotta be one of the better shelters. I mean look at this area you get. This is nice. This is a good, nice area for tenting too. Nice. That is an awesome view. So the shelter was not the trail, although there's a lot of blaze on that tree. <clears throat> so, I come back. But where those views were, there was like a camping spot right there. Yeah, this is a nice area. Look, it's a pipe spring. That's nice. Hmm. I don't need that, but it's nice. So thankful that they moved the rocks out of the way <laughs> to get this pretty nice smooth path instead of it could be clapping over this stuff. Yay! Hard work had to go into this to move off the rocks. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it, obviously rocks were moved to make a pathway. Very nice of them trail workers to do that. Not that kind of rocks <laughs> where it's on the side of the trail.
pretty good. Walk it along the dirt road. Well, that's a nice campsite. It's a pretty nice spot right there. Back there. down to whatever this road is called. There's people parked up there. This doesn't look like Is that the way you go on the trail? Where is the... Hmm, where's the AT at? Yeah, I have to walk the road a little bit. Oh, there's a blaze. I was like, let's see a blaze. I think there might be parking over there or something. Okay. This is pretty. Okay. All right, I made it to... Pocahontas. Well, that was Pocahontas Road. And then this is Clinton Road or something like that. And then there's the AT. All right, well, this is where I'm stopping today. Um, tomorrow, I think I'm going to switch it up and do something a little different as far as direction. But I'll let y'all know that tomorrow. But anyway, as for today, this is it for the video. So, see y'all tomorrow.